A three-foot iron rod shot through this man's brain. From front to back, it obliterated half his skull. Yet, he just stood up, walked away, and lived for 12 more years. This bizarre accident changed neuroscience forever. It's September 13, 1848, in Vermont. Phineas Gage, a 25-year-old railroad foreman, is packing explosive powder into rock. His tamping iron sparks, the powder ignites, and the iron rod launches like a missile. It's three feet long and over an inch thick. The rod smashes into his left cheek, zips behind his eye, shreds the front of his brain, and blasts out the top of his skull. It lands 80 feet away, coated in blood and brain matter. Everyone assumes he's dead, but minutes later, he's sitting up and talking, telling the doctor exactly what happened. He even walks to the medical cart, the doctor can literally see his brain pulsing through the hole in his head. Incredibly, Phineas asks when he can go back to work. He survived, but he was a different man. Before, he was responsible and polite. After, he became impulsive, rude, and couldn't hold a job. The rod had destroyed the part of his brain controlling personality, something doctors had never witnessed before. Phineas Gage lived for another 12 years. His skull and the iron rod are now in a museum, proving that specific brain regions control our behavior. He's in every neuroscience textbook, the man who accidentally revolutionized brain science.